like and subscribe please hey guys welcome to this week's review of real housewives of new york so with ebony i'm so conflicted right i really am with her because i guess i have to take in consideration what was going on at the time what is still going on at the time and she has every right to speak on those things right to speak on um, to speak on black issues the problem is she is dealing with white women that have been in the bubble for so long right the show from its inception has been segregated right it has been only white women and the other ladies have been able to avoid conversations like this they've never really had someone that would challenge them head on so it is awkward and it is uncomfortable right and people like Ramona don't want to deal with it they want to run away they don't even want to have a, the conversation but I think that's a part of reality right and just because something is uncomfortable or awkward doesn't mean that it shouldn't happen right and I feel like some people are using Ebony's introduction to to the show as an excuse to kind of keep the show uh, segregated and use that to sort of validate the reasons why it doesn't work and it's not about working or not working this is the first time that they're doing something like this so it's gonna have its hiccups and if anything me being honest if it's not working I don't think Ebony should be the first on the chopping block maybe it needs to be Ramona maybe it needs to be Luann maybe it needs to be Sonia because these ladies well particularly um, Ramona and Luann what like what we're on the 10th season or 13th season who knows how many seasons we're on right they've had their turn we've seen their stories right maybe it's time to switch things up you know but like I don't know but my thing with Ebony as well I wish that it was more even though I feel like the situation is kind of a setup right I think uh, casting sort of added her to the situation to kind of save Bravo's reputation because of what was going on plus you had Nini calling them out for being racist so I think introducing Ebony was a sort of a way to show the audience that look we're not racist we're gonna bring Ebony on here to educate the white cast members so I definitely feel like it was a setup they weren't really looking at who would necessarily fit well within the cast same thing with Leia right maybe Leia made more sense when Tinsley was on the show but after Tinsley left, it was kind of awkward, right? However, Ebony being there does help to kind of balance it back out. But I think as, you know, when you're casting, right, of course you want conflict, right? Of course you want different perspectives and different views. But it has to kind of also make sense. And I don't think it's a race thing um, in this, I think, in this particular situation I think it's an age thing right we have women in their 30s versus women in their 50s and the 60s right they need more of a they need women in their late 30s and their 40s it's just not a cohesive group and like Ramona and Sonia they're a little bit more conservative right same with Luann even though they're wild low-key but they don't want to show that side to the rest of the world, right? So we need more people to balance it out. Also, it's just going to feel like Leia versus the older woman on the show. Um, it just doesn't really seem authentic that these group of women would be hanging out with each other. And I think that's what's going on. Not necessarily one particular person that is ruining the show. Or throwing it off I just think the casting is off in my personal opinion and with Ebony as I was saying I just wish she when she speaks about these things it would be more conversational 
or more giving her own personal story, right? And how things have affected her versus trying to lecture the other women or preach at them. Because at the end of the day, these are grown women in their 50s and 60s. They know what racism is. They're not naive or ignorant to that. And you're not going to... I think Brashawn brought up a great point when she was talking to Ebony. Like, are you trying to communicate how you feel? Or not necessarily how you feel or what more so what's going on in the world? Or are you kind of trying to get Ramona to say what you want her to say, right? Are you trying to change Ramona? And if you're trying to do that, you're going to fail. You're going to fail. Ramona's in her 60s, and she's very stubborn. And that shouldn't be your responsibility anyways. You shouldn't carry on that burden because you're causing yourself stress, right? Ramona will be fine. She'll go and dance around and run away from the subject. And at the end of the day, she will expose herself, right? And will continue to expose herself. She has in the past and she'll continue to do so because I've heard that she doesn't want to go to the reunion because she doesn't want to talk about race. Which is crazy to me because that's what the reunions are there for. So you can rehash things that have happened throughout the season, right? And if you're not racist, you shouldn't have any problem sitting there and having that conversation in any capacity but she doesn't want that because not only are you going to have ebony calling her out leia calling her out you're going to have andy probably asking a uh, question she doesn't want to answer right and i feel like if you don't feel like you're racist then you shouldn't have any problems with people kind of asking you certain questions you should be able to answer them and if it, and if in the moment you don't want to answer them then say i don't want to answer it right like if she doesn't want to say who she voted for that's fine she could just simply say well i don't want to say who i voted for that's that but the fact that you're running away is suspect right it doesn't look good so at the end of the day, Ebony, you don't need to stress yourself out. Call out the ladies when they need to be called out and laugh at them, right? But don't take on the responsibility of trying to educate them or show them another way because that's not on you. It shouldn't be on you. We as the audience should be getting to know you as a person, right? And I feel like and she even admitted, right? She has a hard time opening up and she does put a wall up. And I feel like that kind of focusing on the race talk and trying to lecture the other woman, other women is kind of a way for her for her to kind of deflect really opening up to the audience. And later on in the scene, they're all having dinner and she opens up to the ladies that her grandmother passed. And, you know, I wish she would have shared that earlier, right? Instead of holding on to it. But I, it's definitely not a good thing, but her opening up about her grandmother passing was able to kind of bring everybody back together because death is something that we all can relate to. So that was a good, no, well, I wouldn't say that was a good thing, but that was a good moment, Right. And it made me like Ebony a little bit more because I saw more of the softer side of her, you know? Because before, she's just so, you know, it's just someone is just so buttoned up and, and put together all the time. So, uh, like, this is a fun show, right? And like Nikki, Star's, uh, Nikki Star TV said, check her out, she's awesome. Maybe Ebony would be better at The View for example, where I feel like her communication style better suits that platform. But um, like Nikki Star TV said, this is trash television. You know, we're not really looking to get that deep. It sounds terrible, but it's true. It's not like you can't talk about these things. Like I would love to keep hearing about um, uh, black American issues. I don't want her to not talk about it. But speak with it to people that are your audience like Brashan was saying like you know Leia is willing to have the conversation 
Prashan seems like she's willing to have a conversation. Sonia is willing to have the conversation. Speak with them. You know, speak with your family. Speak with your friends. Speak with people that are going to listen, right? And will are willing to have the conversation with you. But Ramona, it's very clear that she doesn't want to have it. She doesn't want to have the conversation. So don't waste your breath. Waste your time speaking to her about it and then have the audience turn against you as well like speak with those who are willing to listen that's that's what i'm saying that's it right um so moving on to the next thing that happened in the scene which was Brashan versus sonia i don't know what it is with sonia but every time she drinks like I don't know if she doesn't know how to handle her liquor, if she's taking some other medication and it's interacting with the alcohol in a way where all the other ladies drink, right? Well, not all the other ladies, but the other ladies drink and they don't go as crazy as Sonia does. I don't really, I don't know. Every time she drinks, right? And yes, sometimes it can be entertaining, but it's getting to the point and it has been getting to the point where it's kind of alarming, you know? So, uh, you know, Ramona and, Ramona and Sonia, they don't like tattoos. We know that from last season, the way they kind of talked about Leia and her tattoos. And kind of, Brashawn called them out, like, are you... Are you kind? Do you have negative connotations for those who have tattoos, right? Are you discriminated against them? And Sonia gets really mad and say, "No, we're not. That's not what we're about. That's not what I'm tr trying to say. I wouldn't get it. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't like my daughter doing it, but I would be okay with sh with it if she did. But I'm not. You know, I'm not judging people that get tattoos. Fast forward or rewind back." You know, a minute earlier, you're with Ramona saying, oh, I wouldn't defile my body, right? I wouldn't ruin my body by getting tattoos. So using language like that, it it's pretty clear you don't like tattoos, right? And you are maybe negatively judging people that do have tattoos. Now, I understand that these are older women and maybe back in the day, you know, getting tattoos may have been associated with gangs right but in today's world everybody gets tattoos you know people from all walks of life different careers they do get tattoos it's not as taboo as it was before so they need to they need to move into the modern world a little bit Right and be careful with the way that they are talking because when you use the word defile, that does have a negative connotation, and and Sonia just got way too upset about that because it's not like Brashan was upset with um, Ramona or Sonia. She was just having a conversation, and of course, it, you know when Sonia's drinking and she hears something she doesn't want to hear, she freaks out. Okay, this second half of the episode, I don't even know how to review it because it was a complete mess. An entertaining mess, but a mess nonetheless, right? Now, some people will say that Real Housewives of New York is not doing as well, right? Because Ebony has entered the picture and the ladies are not having fun anymore, right? I hate to say it, but I feel like part of the reason why Real Housewives of New York is not as fun as it has been in the past is because up until this episode, the ladies have not been relying on drugs and alcohol. That's, I mean, that may not sound great to say it, but I definitely think it's true. They haven't been drinking and they haven't been doing other stuff like they've done in the past, right? You know, Dorinda, a fan favorite, a part of the reason why, you know, she wasn't asked back, it was because she had an issue. Um, Sonia is seeming like she has an issue. Luann has, has had and has an issue. Leia 
also has an issue, right? So they've been trying to kind of steer away from that, but I do feel like they've been relying on drugs and alcohol, this franchise, as a crutch. Because if you look back at the most entertaining moments in this franchise, at least as of late, it's been due to them drinking heavily. It is what it is. And I feel like by the end of this episode, although super entertaining, it's sort of going back to that place where they're drinking a lot. You know, Brashan and Sonia, I don't know what is going on, but clearly they were not sober, right? And yes, it provides an entertaining moment, but I don't want the ladies sort of to rely on stuff like this in order to be entertaining. Having a moment, no problem, but I feel like we've seen this too much, especially of Sonia, right? Every time Sonia drinks, and even on camera, it doesn't look like she drinks that much, right? I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's she's taking a certain type of medication and it's interacting with alcohol. Something is off with Sonia and I don't want to see Brishan take the same route, right? And I feel like that's what Brishan was trying to do. Because obviously, if you're going to be on a show, you've probably watched the show. You know how these ladies get down. You know that they can indulge. And I feel like Brishan wanted to have that moment. But the problem is you're with a cast that, you know, Luann is not drinking. Leia is not drinking. Ebony will drink, but she's not going to get to that point, right? Um, Sonia is trying to steer away from drinking you know too much Ramona Ramona she drinks but she never really gets to that point you know Ramona's always been like that so it's just I don't know and I don't know I I enjoyed Brashan you know because when she said the ladies were boring I'm sorry she wasn't exactly lying right she was saying what the audience was thinking but I do want, if there is drama, if there is discord, I want it to be a little bit more organic. Her kind of saying to Leia, oh, the ladies have been talking to you, aka Ramona, it was a bit messy and contrived to me, right? And I'm glad that Leia didn't take the bait and started to freak freak out at Ramona because that's what she always does and she was able to kind of direct it at Brashan right because we know what Brashan is trying to do the funny thing is that Leia also does it as well exactly what Brashan is doing Leia does the exact same thing the only difference is Brashan was super sloppy with it it was super sloppy it was super contrived um my own, my another thing I want to say is that it was just kind of annoying with Leia and Ebony a little bit because early in an earlier scene when they were at Pioneer Village, right? They were talking about Sonia and her drinking when Sonia was just sort of blabbing to Bershawn about the Morgans, you know, like 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 usual going on and on and on. They were kind of talking about her and her drinking and how the other ladies enabled her behavior, right? But then in the scene, they do the very same thing and they kind of direct all their energy at Brashan, but they don't call Sonia out as well. Um, We do see that they are talking to her, you know, next episode and it seems that Brashan and Ebony, I'm not sorry, Brashan and Sonia get into a physical altercation, which I'm surprised it took them so long because Sonia was all up in Brashan's face clinging to her that's why I was really confused the body language was really confusing to me you know it seemed like Brashan was kind of you know didn't want to entertain Sonia but Sonia kept getting in her face kept hugging her and clinging on to her and hanging off on her (laughs) and I'm like are they making up or are they falling out what is going on with these two what is the issue right 
you know and it's just speaking on ebony and Leia, like they talk all the crap behind their back but then Rashawn actually kind of low-key says the things that they were saying to sonia's face and then they want to be like oh my god no no that's so rude da, 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 da. and don't get me wrong Rashawn was rude you know but you can't be so but don't act like she wasn't speaking some truth as well that's all I gotta say. I mean, I don't know. So much happened this episode. <laughs> it was it was entertaining, maybe for the wrong reasons. It seems like next episode is going to be entertaining as well. One thing that I always like about Real Housewives of New York, they are able to have these crazy fights and beefs, but they always make up fairly quickly. They're able to move on. So I hope this is another one of those situations where they're able to have that moment between Rashawn and Sonia. They've been drinking, da 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 da. I hope next episode it doesn't drag on and the ladies are able to move forward to the next thing because that has always been something that I love about Real Housewives of New York that they're able to move on fairly quickly. So I just hope this situation doesn't drag on because this fight was stupid anyways. It didn't really make any sense. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's everything. See you guys.